Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to two Jeeps. One old, one new. Well, actually, they're both new, but the one over here, the Wrangler, been around a while. This, the Renegade, brand new. So, I'm here just north of Montreal on this beautiful and very cold Canadian day where a Jeep was kind enough to set up an off-road course to test both of these. So, which one is better off-road? You know what? Only one way to find out. Let's take them for a ride. And that is coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. I just talked to one of the uh, instructors here. It turns out that this off-road course was built by uh, Land Rover. <laughs> so we'll see how a Jeep does on a Land Rover course. All right, let's see what the scoop is. I think I'm all set. You want this in rock mode or what mode should this be in? We've got four-wheel drive lock and I've got rock mode. Rock mode. Okay, yes. thank all you. Yours. And uh, Hilda Sun is on. Yes. And more importantly, sort of the heated seats. <laughs> <laughs> So Nathan got to take this bad boy off-road, but I get to take it off-road in the snow. How cool is that? Uh, this first part of the course is relatively easy and uh, not much of a challenge. So right now I'm just kind of putting along, putting along, putting along, and I'm waiting to get to the more interesting aspects, which is this crazy straight uphill area that they built. Uh, and it's one of those things that probably uh, looks easier on video than in real life because when you're doing it in real life, what ends up happening is all you see is sky when you go up the hill. Uh, and here's our first little test. It's basically uh, a little whoop de doo section to get the wheels up in the air. So let's see how this goes. I'm going very slowly right here, very easy. As always, it's not about speed, but about capability. And so far, the capability seems just fine. All right, here comes this first challenge, which is a ruddy big uphill. Uh, and like I said, it probably doesn't look as scary on video, but when you start going up like this, all you see is sky. So don't want to break traction here. Don't want to break traction. Scrambling a little bit. And come on, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Oh, yeah. I got over nice and slow down the backside. Look at that, no problem whatsoever. No problem whatsoever. So now the next challenge is this, and this is basically driving up the side of a berm, but when you're sideways in the car and you feel like you're about to fall over, <laughs> and there's a little bit of a, <laughs> of a feeling of, Oh, I'm about to roll this thing, but you know what? No rolling. Easy peasy. You know, this is a remarkably capable vehicle. You would think that uh, just because it's smaller and because it doesn't have kind of that uh, Wrangler off-road heritage that it wouldn't be as good. I mean, this is basically a street car that's uh, been taken off-road, but yeah, you know, I, I was a little worried that Jeep had decided to market itself more as an on-road brand without giving the car the off-road credentials that it needs 
but I think I could have been wrong about that. I think this Trailhawk version of this thing is really good actually. Of course, once again, this is a course that even though it was built by Land Rover, it was built to be driven and to be conquered, so they wouldn't build a course where you couldn't conquer it, right? So let's take that with a bit of salt, a little bit of grain of salt. Here we go, uphill again, and I'm stuck. Come on, come on, a little bit of power. There we go, got it up, got it up over the top. took this in the power wagon, you'd be bottoming out for sure. This is a nice thing about having a short little car. You know, the thing about going off-road, of course, it's about the tires first and foremost, and then once you get past the tires, it's about approach angle, it's about departure angles, it's about ground clearance. And I was a little worried that this uh, Renegade didn't have much of that, and I shouldn't have been, because it's really good off-road, really, really good off-road. So, Jeep, kudos. All right, so Andre's been outside freezing because it says minus what? two degrees Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit? Oh! That's how cold it's been out there. I think that's our coldest shoot yet. Yes, Or is. mine, at least. That is our coldest shoot. And just for fun, just for fun, after being in the new Renegade, I wanted to get in a Wrangler. Because, you okay. know, the question is, how off-road worthy is the new Renegade? Yeah. And this is a standard you have to compare it to. Right, right, I agree. This is probably one of the most off-road, if not the most off-road worthy vehicle that you can buy. I know you Land Rover and FJ guys are gonna not wanna hear that, but uh, it really is the it's original. Got the, it's got the hardware for it. It's got the big axles, uh, lockers, everything. Yeah, and it's the original, right? Let's face it, the Defender, right, came based on the Willys. And the FJ came a lot longer after that. So this is really, you know, the, the vehicle that started it all. So we've got a locked rear diff right now on this one. Okay. We've we're got it four low. We're getting four low. Okay. And uh, I'm curious to see how it goes up that hill because um, in the Renegade, I had to take two shots at it. Yeah, you, you in the Renegade, you kind of have to keep momentum going, right? Yeah. But still, it, uh, I was actually pretty impressed by it. I'm thinking this is going to go up much easier. What do you think? This is a steep hill, Roman. It's a very steep hill, but here we go. So, okay, let's go. No, you're, you're going. Look at that. Okay. There's not even a bit of wheel spin. And you didn't have to really push the accelerator too far, no, did you? No, no. And keep in mind that uh, while these are, of course, very off-road worthy tires, the uh, Renegade was a Trailhawk too. Yep. So, uh, you know, if we're, if we're being real guys, yeah, the Renegade will get you to the cabin, the Trailhawk version. It'll get you beyond the cabin, but it probably won't get you up the mountain. Well, it did this course. The Renegade did this course. Uh, you have to give it a little bit more gas. You, you know, you gotta keep the momentum going on it. Of course right. it's gonna do the course. Right. You know, it's a course that they wouldn't design if it didn't do it. <laughs> but in terms of kind of like just how I feel sitting behind the wheel, this feels like it's, you know, it's child's play. Kind of like the Power Wagon. You just rode the Power Wagon. How was yeah. that? Oh my gosh. I mean, it's a humongous truck, but it never slipped the wheel. With this thing, same thing. I, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm not even breaking, breaking the sweat. sweat. No? Yeah. Or the Jeep's not even breaking a sweat, if I'm being honest. I mean, it's just, look at this, it's just no problem. Just right it up and over, wheel in the air, no problem. Yeah. You know, traction, no problem. And even though this is the unlimited version, which has a little bit longer of a breakover angle, right? Because it's a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's still... It's still, it's still happy, like, yeah. <laughs> I do not care. Why is a Jeep talking in a French accent? Probably because we're because Montreal. Because Montreal. <laughs> this is their French Jeep. So the bottom line, I am highly impressed with the Jeep Renegade, but if you want ultimate off-road, 
you gotta go with the Wrangler. It's just, well, it's just so much more Jeep. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fast Lane Car. Check out tflcar.com for more news, views, and all sorts of fun Jeep reviews. Ciao. But let's face it, Andre, most people who buy the Renegade aren't going to be doing this with it, let alone, you know, right. going way, way beyond the cabin and up the mountain, which obviously this can do. Right, and if they wanted to, they'll probably get the Wrangler. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you know, when you get that Trailhawk, you're getting up to Wrangler money. You can get the Rubicon, uh, you can't get the Rubicon, but you can get the Sport. Right, I know that starts at 19, but when you right get, when you get the Trailhawk Renegade, yeah, you can get it into the 30s, yeah, maybe 31,000. Yeah, that's um, that's price is not for this guy. And if you get a two two door Wrangler, that's probably about the same money. Yeah, but the interior is so much nicer. This is starting to look really dated now, really dated. Yeah, this is a Jeep. This is the original, right? It's the original, dude. All right, back into the frozen tundra we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. Minus two. Yeah, minus two. It hasn't warmed up.